Hello everybody and welcome to another unboxing video. Haven't done one of these in a very long time. Put an order in about a month ago now at uh, Toys. Shipping has been really slow, but a lot of China has still been on lockdown. And of course we had the Chinese New Year and everything as well, so everything was backlogged and delayed. There's also a container kind of price war as well. Uh, the more people pay for containers, the people that paid less are then getting kind of put to the back of the queues, it's mad. But I've got a box come in from Sir Toys. I thought I'd quickly do an unboxing video and uh, see how everybody is. How are we all? Are we all keeping well? I hope so. I am still suffering slightly. Uh, we all had COVID uh, in our household a few weeks ago uh, and I still feel dog rough. Uh, I actually got rid of the contagion part of the disease. Uh, I was clear after testing after about four days, I think. But I just don't feel right. No energy whatsoever. I mean, you could put uh, Vans Toys Fort Max on my doorstep and I would not get out of bed for it. It's just, I've got no oomph whatsoever. The wife's exactly the same, bless her. Uh, she got much more flu-like symptoms than I got. I got almost like a, a chest infection. But uh, oh, this is really taped. They have gone to town with the old brown tape on this. You have to excuse the, uh, the denim. <laughs> Living my life as a middle-aged boy band member. <laughs> As per usual, we have foam. Right, oh, got a little bit squished in here, but we've got, everything's kind of boxed up still. Come on, out you come. Oh, right, oh, the product should be, should be fine here. This is the EG01 Eagle. This is a bootleg of the MP Thundercracker only done a slight improvement so I will uh, we'll make sure I get a review of that done I do have instructions in there that is a novelty right, put you down we then have uh, this uh, somebody asked if I could get this which I did uh, it is that uh, China's own kind of branding, kind of giant tank mech guy. Uh, name completely escapes me. I'll have it pop up on the screen. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks looks decent enough. It's a good solid tank. There's a lot of heft to this. Uh, so let's get him out and uh, throw in some more little bits in, that's why. <laughs> oh, Paul, you legend. Yeah. Load of little Lego pieces or compatible bricks for Teddy and Sam. Teddy keeps asking me about making YouTube videos. Oh, yes, he mentioned this to me. It's like the old, is it the old hand solo, I think? Something like that. Kind of found like a stockpile of them. And we get loads of little pieces. Oh, you flip <laughs> Oh, there's a load in there. Um, I'll find out exactly what these are um, and how well we give some of these away at TF Nation. We've got TF Nation coming up in August. So I'll bring some of those with them and we'll do what we did last time where we get you to scan the use, uh, toys barcode and then you can uh, be entered into getting a free one. That's lovely. That's a little mini Batmobile there. Some bikes, some Hot Wheels cars. Is that the X Jet? Oh, another bike. Another bike. Some more little brick figures. And here we have them. Uh, another car. So he's not as heavy. <laughs> but that's still that's still pretty decent you know there's 
a good size going on there. And this is an original mold. I believe they've done uh, kind of like a, almost a tidal wave esque thing. They've done like a dragon as well. There's a couple of different variations. Again, this will go on my review pile. And then we get a nice little kind of backdrop to go with it as well. There we go. Again, nice looking figure. And oh, last but by no means least, again in a fairly squished up box, it is the latest Mechanical Alliance figure. It's their version of Mixmaster. Oh, he's chucked a load of Lego in there as well. Oh, you diamond. Got some awesome little sets in there. I'll oh, have fun sorting through those later. But yeah, um, he's bigger. So that, that's what you would expect from these. I'll get a comparison between him and his original counterpart as well, but he is much bigger. So we're gonna end up with a really massive looking Devastator at the end of this. I think it's probably gonna be bigger than the Devil Savior one. Sorry for the noise. But yeah, again, I'll do a review of that, show you how to transform it. And I've got uh, some more just down the back there. I think they're slowly gonna start pumping these out now that the uh, Chinese New Year and kind of lockdowns are slowly being lifted. So yeah, it's a very small unboxing today, but we've got some pretty amazing things in there. Uh, thank you all very much for taking the time out of your busy lives to tune into my content and for myself and the rest of the collectibles household. Thank you very much for watching.